Let's go over the installation procedure and replacing the fuel pressure regulator for this Honda Odyssey 3.5 liter. Now you can see we've already done the work and removed the intake manifold here. There's a lot of vacuum lines, uh, some electrical connections, and also several studs and bolts holding the manifold down. So we've removed the intake manifold already, access the fuel rail here, and now we've gotten down to the fuel pressure regulator. Now, first things first, it's very important to take safety into consideration here. Remember, you're working on a pressurized fuel system here. So even if the vehicle's been sitting overnight for a while, it could still have some residual pressure. So it's a good idea to uh, bleed the fuel pressure off somehow. One safe method is to pull the fuel pump fuse or disconnect the fuel pump electronically, start the vehicle or even crank it over to ensure that there is no pressure here. So we're going to take a needle nose pliers to the return line here and remove the clamp or work it up here. And then we'll gently twist the hose here, help to get it loose from the line going back to the tank and gently work it back and forth to get it off. Now you can see there wasn't a whole lot of fuel there. And we've also got a vacuum line here off the back side of it. So we'll use our same pliers to gently work it back and forth and, and get it off of the vehicle. Now we're gonna take a 17 millimeter open end wrench to the fitting and break this loose. Once that's loose, now we can work this around to where we can get the rest of the hose off a little easier here. And again, we'll gently twist this back and forth to get it, get it up off the regulator, set it aside, and then we can spin the regulator off the end of the fuel rail. Now this comes with an O-ring and a sealing washer here. And so we're going to remove the protective caps off our new one here. Use a little bit of the, the fuel here to help lubricate this O-ring. Make sure we've got our new O-ring in place along with a sealing washer. And we will gently thread this into place on the fuel rail. Before we snug it up, we're gonna go ahead and install our hose here again. Make sure that we get our clamp put back into place. We'll rotate this around until it's clocked in the proper position where we want it to be. And we'll take our wrench again and tighten it up into place. Install the vacuum line and install the return hose and the line going back to the tank. Now that we've put our clamps in place, we'll verify that everything is tight here again and the job is completed.